Hello, second grade, and welcome to math class. Today, as you can see, we have a new student joining us. This is Angle. Angle, say hello to your new classmates. Hello, guys. Okay, to get started, we're going to warm up with some multiplication questions. The first one is five times five. Angle, can you answer that? Uh, Cincinnati. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's wrong angle. Let's try an easier one. What's five times zero? Uh, pollination. Oh no, a angle, I'm sorry, that's wrong angle. All right, let's not do multiplication. I'll give you a very easy question. What's one plus one? Uh, Truidon. I'm so sorry, that's wrong angle. Oh, what do I have to do to be a right angle? Lesson 114, right angles. Before we start talking about right angles, I think it's actually important to remind you guys what an angle is. The angle is the inside corner of a shape. This shape right here is a triangle, so named because it has three angles. If you see where I've written the numbers one, two, and three, where each of those numbers is, that's an angle. However, none of those angles are right angles. A right angle is an angle where the two sides meet and they look like the letter L. You, another way to look, think of that is the edge of a piece of paper, a corner of a piece of paper. That is a right angle. Now, L is not the only letter that makes a right angle. These letters right here, T, H, I, and J, all have right angles. And I've drawn a teeny little letter L, sometimes upside down, sometimes backwards, in each of the right angles. Do you see how each of those places where the line meets looks like the corner of a piece of paper? And so at the bottom of the J, where the J curves, that's not a right angle because it doesn't look like the edge of a piece of paper. Here is your class fact practice. Again, this is multiplying by five. You've had lots of practice with this by now. So I think you'll be fine. But then on the next page, you'll see these little squares with dots that look kind of like the geo boards we used in class with our rubber bands. So what I want you to do is in each of these boxes, draw a shape with a right angle. Now you might need to get mom and dad to help. You might need to get a ruler. Grandma, grandpa can help. Anybody can help. I'm sorry, Owen, maybe not Knox. I don't know if Knox can handle this. Maisie, don't ask your lizard. So what you need to do is get your marker that you're not gonna open with your teeth, unlike Miss Tristan. And starting in square number one, let's just make a tiny square. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. I understand that my lines are not straight, but you'll do better using a ruler, not holding your phone in your hand as a camera. All right, each of these little shapes, each of these inside corners, those are right angles. Now I said that the triangle I drew on the board wasn't didn't have any right angles, but you can make a triangle with right angles. If you make the letter L like that, and then you make your third line, this angle and this angle are not right angles, but this one right here that looks like the corner of a piece of paper, that is a right angle. So any shape you can make that has two lines meeting like that. This triangle, this one would be the right angle. So in these other squares, 
Just play around and make some shapes with right angles. You could have a rectangle. And each of these would be right angles. Now you could also, I'm going to move over here, and please again forgive my messy drawing. This shape has five sides, one, two, three, four, five, and it has five angles, one, two, three, four, five. And these two angles down here, those are right angles. This angle is too big, this angle is too small, these are right angles. So if you want to check if something is a right angle, you can just put the edge or the corner of your piece of paper or this post-it note, see how that lines up? Right angle. So just make as many different shapes as you can think of with right angles on this page. Here is the last page. I just wanted to give you a quick reminder that on this bar graph, just like we talked about in the last lesson, we're counting each square is two. So when you color in one whole square, that equals two. So I'm going to give you a hint. Let's look at purple. We know that this group of tally marks equals five, and this is two. So five plus two equals seven. So we need to go over to purple, and we're going to color all the way up to six. Two, four, six, but it's seven. So you need to draw a line halfway between six and eight, and that would equal seven. Number three is mixed numbers. That's a whole number plus a fraction. And then I think you can do the rest of this. Oh, parallel line segments. Miss Tristan, what's that? Parallel line segments are lines that are straight lines across from each other that don't touch. So look at this shape. This line and this line are straight. They are across from each other, but they touch. This line and this line, they're not across from each other. This line and this line, yes, chicken, I'm talking to someone and it's not you. Oh, chicken is very jealous of you guys. This line and this line are parallel lines. They are across from each other and they will not touch. They are social distancing, just like us. Let's pretend that these lines are six feet apart. Let's pretend that I can write the word six feet without scribbling. All right, guys, happy mathing.